Hello darlings, Christian here coming to you uh, with another edition of Wine Weekend. With it being um, close to the holidays, uh, Christmas is just a few days away and we've just uh, entered into Hanukkah. Um, I thought I would make this uh, a holiday, holiday episode, or holiday related. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about one of my favorite holiday traditions. Uh, in my family, we like to make a mulled wine. Um, and if, if you're not sure what a mulled wine is, um, it's a uh, wine with a lot of spices and um, warmed up. It's it's very delicious. Makes you feel good on a cold day. Um, I thought I'd tell you guys how to make that. Um, what I'll usually do is break out the break out the crock pot, um, pour in two bottles of uh, red wine. Um, you don't have to go super fancy with your, your choice of the red wine, since we're going to be spicing it up and adding things to it anyway. It doesn't have to be high quality. I usually go down to the store and buy the cheapest bottle of a Cap Sauv or a Merlot that I can find, or even a red blend. Um, I would recommend buying two bottles of the same kind, rather than two different things. Um, though I've never tried it, if you guys try it, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll change that. Uh, maybe I'll change that recommendation if it turns out great. Um, but I would recommend probably two bottles of the same thing. Um, and I'll pour in a bottle of a, like a cranberry juice or kind of a, a berry juice. Um, and then you can actually buy a bag of mulling spices. That's probably the easiest way to do it rather than... Um, so that way you're not having to measure out like a teaspoon of that, this, a table of that, tablespoon of that. Um, it just makes it easier. And I'm all about simplicity. Um, especially during this holiday season when I know you have tons of other things to prepare for and plan and kids to take places and parties to go to and gifts to wrap and gifts to buy and uh, baked goods to make, meals to make. Um, you know, if you can find ways to cut corners somewhere, go for it, and that's the easiest way I know of. Um, yeah, and then you let that cook up for, you know, a few hours or however long it takes to get nice and hot. Um, and then you can pour it into just glasses. Um, I usually like to garnish it with uh, either some frozen cranberries floating on top or like a, a cinnamon stick, a uh, slice of orange. Um, you can even slice up an orange and add that into your mulled wine as well. Um, and then that just really makes a great crowd pleaser if you're having a party anyway um, and you don't know what to serve. For a beverage, I've got you covered there. Mold wine is a, a, a great crowd pleaser um, with all those spices and even people that don't like wine will enjoy it. Um, uh, I am not drinking mold wine right now because I, I just had the idea of it right before I made this video and um, I wanted something to drink uh, sooner than a couple hours from now. Uh, so I'm drinking, uh, I believe it's the Apothic Red. Um, my uh, my boyfriend's mother got it for me for for uh, an early Christmas present, um, so I thought I would open that up. Uh, it is one of my one of the wines that I enjoy, so that was nice of her. Uh, thanks, Karen. Um, here's a sip for you. Cheers. Um, let me know if you guys uh, try making the. Uh, the mulled wine. Let me know how yours turns out. If you have other recipes for mulled wine, I'd be happy to hear about those as well. Um, if you want to see photos of past mulled wines that I've made, um, you can go on my Instagram, my uh, Instagram name or handle or whatever they, whatever you kids call it these days, uh, is uh, just another gay wino, all one word, um, and there'll be a, it'll be in the comments or the description below as well. Um, uh, go ahead and comment on anything else that you might want to see this holiday season from my page, um, or just in general, uh, ideas for videos, I'm always looking for those. Um, or if you have, uh, holiday traditions that you want to share, uh, that you think are fun, let me know those as well. Uh, go ahead while you're commenting on, or just are on my page, go ahead and subscribe to my videos and tell your friends. Um, I'm always looking for new followers, new fun people. Um, that I can share my word with. Um, yeah, tell them to follow me. Um, 
well, for now, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, a joyous Kwanzaa, um, a Happy Yule, whatever whatever holiday you're celebrating this time of year. Uh, if you're not celebrating a holiday, uh, Happy Winter. I believe we just started winter. Um, uh, a happy rest of December and a happy rest of 2019. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in 2020 if I don't get a chance to post another video by then. Uh, and let's go roaring into those 20s. Thanks.